For this menu, what I've done is I've replaced the default background with this video that I selected. And as you can see, it doesn't work really well because sometimes the airplane actually goes behind this uh, photo on the left-hand side. Here you go, there's an example. So this is one of those themes where the layout of the theme is actually not that friendly for setting up your own content. So let me replace this theme with something that it's a little bit more friendly for replacing the background. And uh, there's a couple of them that work kind of well. One of them that I like particularly for setting up my own backgrounds is this modern theme. A little bit of a warning when you're changing a theme. If you press in the main thumbnail of a theme, the one with the arrow, iDVD gives you a warning that it wants to replace all of the submenus with this theme. That's not what I want. I'm going to cancel that. Rather, what I want is I only want to replace the main menu, which is this one that I'm working on, with the layout for the main menu of this particular modern theme. So for that, the only thing that I need to do is click on the subset for the main menu. And as you can see, I don't get asked for anything. It just replaces that single menu with a subset for that kind of menu from the theme that you chose. Now, coming back to the task of using my own graphics for this theme, I'm going to look for something that doesn't have much content in the middle of the screen. The reason for that is because this theme has this drop zone in the middle of the screen, and you cannot move around the drop zones. If you grab a drop zone and you try to move it out or move it up and down, what it does is it actually removes the content that it's assigned to that drop zone. So I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to let it go where it was. So let me go into the media pane, go into the photos, and let me see if I can find a photo that doesn't have uh, much content or the important content in the middle of the screen and sort of pretends to this whole seaplane theme that I've got. Uh, let me go into this event. And uh, let me try... Uh, there's some really interesting photos here. Let me try this one. To select that photo as a background, I'm just going to grab the photo. Because it's a single image, I can just drop it in my menu here. And that works quite well. The horizon is below the area for the drop zone. So the drop zone doesn't interfere with that sunset. Something that I may want to do is replace the color for the buttons so that they are a little bit more noticeable on top of this, of this new photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift click on all four of my buttons. I'm going to go get the inspector. I'm getting the button inspector. And I'm going to change the color of the buttons to pure white. And let me move that to 2009 closer to the title. And there we go. Now the buttons stand out a little bit better from the background.